Hi, my name is Dr. Terrence Doherty. I'm Director of Corneal Service at Loden Vision Centers, and we're here today to do a procedure called corneal cross-linking. I'm here with my patient, Michael, and this procedure is meant to strengthen the cornea for ectatic diseases, which are diseases of the cornea that make the cornea weak and not stable over time. So I'm gonna get started with the first part of the procedure with Michael here underneath the microscope to first do the first part of the procedure where we remove the epithelium. The first thing we're gonna do is loosen up Michael's epithelial cells in the cornea because they're gonna act as a barrier and won't let the procedure work as well. So we're gonna put a little medicine on the surface. We're gonna feel a lot of fluid kind of on the eye here. We're gonna rinse that medicine off. And we're gonna dry the surface here. So cross-linking is a procedure that's been around for several decades, but it's fairly new to the United States. And as I mentioned, it's a procedure where we are strengthened in the cornea. Now for most people, our cornea, which is the clear front part of the eye, remains stable in shape and size throughout our lives. And that's important because that cornea shape is important to help us see better. The cornea does a lot of focusing of light. In certain conditions, the most common being keratoconus, the cornea does not remain stable. The structures or the proteins of the cornea are loose and they slide past each other and over a lifetime, they can become quite irregular. The cornea can become more cone shape, very steep and irregular and, um, and create a lot of decreased vision. In some extreme cases, that can lead to uh, the need for a cornea transplant. So what this procedure does is a two-step procedure. It's a procedure in which ultraviolet light is going to cross-link or stabilize the collagen fibers in the cornea so that they're strengthened. All right, and we're ready for the second part of the procedure, which is our ultraviolet light. And we're gonna turn this on. Okay, and this is beginning now. The ultraviolet light is actually what does the cross-linking. Now, Cross-linking occurs naturally throughout our lifetime. Being out in the sun cross-links our cornea and our cornea stiffens and strengthens over time. So this UV radiation that we're using here is a safe UV range that is the same as being outside in the sun. The point of the riboflavin is it helps that UV light work better. It helps potentiate the free radicals that are formed to help cross-link the sulfide bonds of the collagen. So that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, the light creates a fluorescence on the eye. We just work to keep it centered. And Michael's perfectly comfortable. The light is not in any way hot. It's not uncomfortable. Um, and he just sits here for about five minutes. And that's it. Okay. And let's get some drops here. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to gently rinse some of the medicine here off and we're gonna place a few drops. These drops here help the eye heal, provide some comfort and pain relief, and help decrease any inflammation that may form. And we just place a contact lens on the surface. Look down for me, Michael. That's gonna help the epithelium heal. And as Michael could tell you, this is a procedure that has really changed how we treat keratoconus. Uh, Michael is a potential medical student who does his research and he could tell you how important uh, this procedure is to him and his family. He's already had the first eye done and he was very eager to get the second one done and I'm excited to be able to do this for him.